Hi and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to integrate your Clapier apps to external platforms such as SAP, Oracle or ERP platforms with the use of APIs. All these services have APIs which Clapier can integrate with. This is useful for maintaining data for your organization's internal purposes. For example, if you have field employees who need to go to remote locations to capture data, they can make use of the Clapier app to submit data. Once a user makes a submission in the Clapier app, it connects with the API of the service and it automatically pushes the data across. You can check the documentation website of the service you wish to use for getting the APIs. For this video, I will take a simple example of sending interview reminders on WhatsApp. Once an interview is fixed, I will use the app to submit the scheduled date and it should automatically be sent as a message to the user on their WhatsApp number. So let me create the app first. Once I log into my Clapier workplace, in the dashboard, I will click on New App. In the Design app, create the app interface. First, I will give a name to the app. Then I will click on Add Section. And I will give a name to the section on the right-hand panel under Section Name. Save it. Now I will add the appropriate fields by clicking on Add Field. So for this app, I can collect information such as the name using the single line text block. You can configure every field on the right hand panel. So I'll change the label to name, save this, maybe add another field for capturing the email using the single line text block. Add a field for the phone number using the phone number block with the default country code. Next, I can use a single selector block for the type of interview. Under options, I will list them one after the other. Next, I'll capture the date of the appointment and finally the time. Now, based on this data, such as the type of interview appointment, date and time, I would like this to be sent as a WhatsApp message. So first, we will need to establish the connection. For that, we'll go to step 3, which is workflows. In workflows, click on add step and then click on the rest API node. You can configure this node on the right hand panel. To set up connection of the app to any other platform, it is the same process. So for this particular example, I will be using Twilio to send the messages across. But you can use any other provider if you are looking for the same example. I am using the Twilio credentials into Postman. This is because in the Clapier platform, the body type can only be in the form of JSON, XML or form data. And in Twilio, there are multiple request forms, but not the ones mentioned in Clapier. Hence, I'm using Postman with Twilio's credentials. But most platforms should support JSON, XML or form data. So it is not necessary to use Postman in that case. I have taken the authorization token to, from and the body. I've selected the message template as appointment reminders and use this particular template in Postman. As you can see over here. Except for the body, I have slightly modified it. Do keep in mind that WhatsApp fully accepts certain types of templates. This template that I have gotten was by default with minor modifications. So do check out which templates are acceptable by WhatsApp in their documentation. So let's set up the REST API connection in Clapier. First is the step name. If you wish to change this, if you have multiple nodes, you can do so or leave it as it is. Next comes the server URL. This is where the data will be sent across to. So I will just copy this from Postman and paste it over here. You can select your method type. Since I will be transferring data from the Clapier app as a WhatsApp message, I'll be using post. Since there is no query string, I will leave this blank. Next comes headers. So in Postman, I will select headers and copy this. So within the brackets, in quotes, authorization, colon in quotes, I'll paste the header. Next is the body type. So in Postman, the body type is a form data. So I'll select the same. Next is the body. So I will have to add all the values to, from and body. I have pasted the body over here exactly as it is in Postman that I have used. However, since I want to use details from the app dynamically, I can pull certain variables into this body. For example, I will change this by pulling up the type of interview appointment from the app by typing in at the rate type which is the variable name for the field in the app, which you can see in the design app. Similarly, I will use for date and time. So over here, I will change July 21 and type in at the rate date and for time at the rate time. Click on save. Now let's test this out in app home by making a submission. I filled in all the details and I click on submit. You can view all the submissions under the submissions tab. Once you click on any submission, a right hand panel will appear capturing all the details. Once you make a submission, it should have triggered the workflow. So let's check if I have received the message on WhatsApp. I have opened up the WhatsApp message 
and you can see I have received the body as it is using the information from the details submitted in the app such as IT and solutions, the date and time. So in this way, you can customize the data that is being sent across by making use of the variables from the Clapia app. You can also automate this process if there are edits to be made, change in submission status, such as if a manager has approved or rejected the appointment or based on certain conditions. So let's say once the submission has been made, an approval needs to be sent. And once the submission is approved, only then should the WhatsApp message be sent. So I'll go back to the design app and under workflows, I will set up the rules. So under the start node, once a submission has been made, an approval notification needs to be sent. So for that, I'll use the approval node and I'll configure this node on the right hand panel. A separate video is available which gives detailed information on how to use the approval node. So do check that out. So under approvers, you can give in the email ID of the approver or use variable names if applicable from the Clapia app. Next, we have allowed approval statuses. Since I have not configured any status for this app, I will first need to do that. So I'll go to step 2 which is configuration. Click on status and give the appropriate statuses. I click on add status on the right panel. Add another status for approved and save this. I'll go back to workflows, click on the approval node and now I will be able to set statuses in which the approver can select. Next, we have the email and the body. I will leave it as it is. Click on save. So if the submission has been approved, then a WhatsApp notification needs to be sent. So first, I will give an if condition node to check if it is approved. So on the right hand panel, I'll give the condition Add the rate status equals to approved. So if the submission is approved, then send the WhatsApp notification. So I will shift this node under the if node by changing the parent step. Like so. Now let's test this out. I will make another submission again in app home. And click on submit. The submission has been made. It would have triggered the workflow to send the approval notification. So let me check my inbox since I've given my email ID. I have received the email notification. By default, the link of the submission is already provided upon configuration. So the approvers will be able to click on this link and change the status of the submission as long as they have the appropriate access for the app. Now I'll change the status by clicking on the button over here and changing it to approved. Once I click on update, the workflow will check whether the submission is approved and if so, it should send out the WhatsApp message using the REST API node. So let's check WhatsApp. You can see I have received the WhatsApp message with the chosen details. I had selected the current time to show you the time difference. That is because it did not send it automatically the moment the submission has been made. Only once the approval has been sent across, I received the WhatsApp message. Now, in case you need to make edits to your submission and those edits need to be reflected in the WhatsApp message, then again, you can set up the workflows. Go back to design app and for editing submissions, click on edit submission flow. Here again, you can give the same steps for approval, but for now, I will simply show it directly with the REST API node. Configure the REST API node similar to the new submission flow. So all these details will be the same in edit submission flow. Now I'll save this. And now if I go back to app home, click on submissions and make some changes. To the submission for example i will change the time and the date save this i should have immediately received the whatsapp message as you can see over here with the following changes similarly if you have to change the status of the submission without using the approval node then in the design app under workflows you will have to give the similar configurations under review submission flow now in the rest api node we also have select fields from the api response over here you can click on add another field and based on the API response, for example, if you need to take certain information from here, such as number of segments of the message, simply copy it and paste it over here under the first option. You can add additional fields. Once you save this, for example, if you want to send an email notification to members of your team regarding the API response, you can add another node after the REST API node, select email, configure the email node on the right panel, give the email address, the subject, the body, and in the body, you can give in the API response by typing in at the rate, REST API, and you can see number of segments has appeared. Once you select this, this particular response will be sent as an email notification. So I'll give the email address, 
the subject and the body with the rest API variable name. I'll click on save and make another submission. I fill in the details and I'll click on submit. As per the workflow, first I'll get the approval notification in my inbox. You can see I have received it. I will change the submission status to approved. Since it is approved, I will receive the WhatsApp message. I have received the WhatsApp message as you can see over here. Now as per the workflow, I should have also received an email in my inbox that says this. I have received the email and you can see it has given me the API response for the number of segments which will be this. Similarly, you can use other API responses. So in this way, you can configure the REST API node to push data from Clapia apps to external platforms. You can also use the Clapia app to make submissions. All you have to do is download the Clapia app from either Play Store or App Store and the moment you create your app, it will be ready to use on the mobile app instantly. Make a submission on the mobile app and the workflow should get triggered automatically. Over here, you can see the mobile screen with the Clapia app downloaded on it. So I'll go ahead and click on it. Click the app that I just created. You can see the app is live and ready to use. So I'll go ahead and make a submission. Now I'll click on submit. Even in the mobile app, you'll be able to view all your submissions. Click on any submission to view all the details. Now this would have triggered the workflow to send an approval email, but I can also change it over here as well, since I'm the workplace admin. But other users will not be able to have that option, unless they have appropriate access. Now I'll check the WhatsApp message. I have received the WhatsApp message. If you have any queries on how to integrate your Clapia app with the external platform using REST APIs or using any other feature, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at clapia.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.